Hi everyone, I'm back, another video, and it's uh, Yabbo, it's a big Yabbo, and I'm really, really, really excited about Here's this. Here's the package. It's a big package. So, got my knife. Ooh, it's a shaky, shaky. That's what's in here. Lots of packing peanuts. Or ghost farts, as I think. <laughs> Can't remember who it was. Someone said their wife calls them ghost farts. Green ghost farts? Not sure. Anyway, okay, it's a heavy box. Out. And first thing, it's got ML on the box. Now, that happens to be my initials. Martin Lee. So I'm quite pleased with that. It's got ML, but that's not why ML's on there. But um, double bony, double bonus. And here's another clue the British Antarctic Expedition. See that? 1907. Oh. Here's the wooden box, a Kindleys, hence the ML on the box. Rare old Highland malt whiskey. And on the bottom here, it's called the Enduring Spirit. And I'll have to read this bit out to you. McKinley's rare old Highland malt whiskey was the spirit that fortified Shackleton's Nimrod expedition in the Antarctic in 1907. This commemorative recreation celebrates the enduring heart and character of both man and whiskey. It is the spirit of another time. It's a nice wooden box. I hope you're getting all this. Let's see what's inside. I've done so much research on this, I know what's in here. This bag is a little cork, a spare cork, to uh, cork the bottle up after it's been opened. And in the bottom here, you have a booklet all about the expedition, and you have a little card that you can go away right away, and they'll send you an, a, a copy of the original letter that Shackleton wrote to the whiskey company in before 1907, it's about 1906, asking if they could make a whiskey for him to take to the Antarctic for his men. You can see it's all got this wooden stuff in it, very well, very well presented. Now the story behind this is that the original bottles were found frozen, buried under the hut in the Antarctic and were wrapped in straw. That's why you've got straw all in here. They were taken to New Zealand, where the Antarctic Expedition Centre is, and they were gradually unfrozen, defrosted, um, in a controlled environment. And then the master blender from McKinley, or McKinley's, went to New Zealand and collected three bottles. He brought them back to Scotland, and they used a hypodermic syringe, a very long hypodermic syringe, to pierce the top of the bottle to withdraw a sample of the whiskey. They then analysed that whiskey, both um, electronically through machines and by the master blender himself tasting it. And then they spent about five years going to all the distilleries in Scotland, testing their old, old casks of whiskey to get the right whiskies to recreate the blend. It comes out. I'll show you the little cork. It's just a little cork in a Hessian bag. Take this out. Oh, and there it is. 
specially prepared for the British Antarctic Expedition 1907 Ship Endurance. Rare old Highland Malt Whiskey blended and bottled by Shaz, McKinley's & Co, Blenders & Distillers, Leaf & Inverness. And it's got a bit about the enduring spirit on the back and the UK VAT Customs label. It's a 47.3% whiskey. And uh, this is the little booklet you get which tells the whole story about the original bottles, the journey, how the bottles were originally found and how they were defrosted and they, they hadn't split. This is the process and it's got the whole story really about how, how it was recreated. And that's what it is. So this Friday is going to be a real special Friday for me because I am going to be drinking whiskey and I am going to be drinking this whiskey. Really, really looking forward to that. I'll put that back in here. Now I've spoken to some people about this and they said oh you shouldn't drink it, you should keep it. But uh, I want to experience that. So there it is, nothing really to do with pipe smoking or tobaccos, I'm sorry about that. But it is for me because one of the pleasures I have when I smoke my pipes is to have a whiskey with it and this is going to be a rare, excuse the pun, it's going to be a rare privilege for me. It's quite expensive, um, but it's just something I had to do. So um, I'll report back on what I think of it. It'll be sad if I don't like it, but it's supposed to be a light whiskey. They thought it would be a heavy whiskey, but it turned out to be a light whiskey. So I'm really excited about that. I'm no expert on whiskies or scotches or blends, but uh, I think I'm gonna like this one. So thanks very much for watching everyone and uh, keep your pipes alight and until next time, cheers.